Greetings hobbyists, this is Arsans of Vool, and I'm back again with another Blender Challenge. So if you haven't seen one of my Blender Challenge videos before, they're quite fun. All you've got to do is listen to the challenge, and you've got to try and recreate what I've created in the most efficient way possible. And then on the Friday, I'm going to show you how I did it. Now this one's a little bit different, because actually we're just going to be looking at one technique, or creating one shape. And that is these insets here, and in the corners, that look like they're for some sort of rivet or screw to go into. So don't worry about the rest of this. This is just a floor panel that I've made previously. There is a link to that in the description as well if you want to have a look at how that was created. But this is the challenge to make these insets and it gets a little bit more complicated than that. So these three insets have all been created in different ways. The first two, if I press Alt and H to unhide the cutters, have been created non-destructively with a boolean. So we've got a single object here that is being booleaned out of this. So non-destructive, I can still move this around if I want to. So that has been created using just standard native blender. No add-ons has been used to create that. And that's the first challenge is to create this screw hole non-destructively. I'm just gonna hide that one. Now in the other corner, we've got exactly the same thing. It's been done non-destructively, but this time I've used hard ops and box cutter. So if you've got hard ops and box cutter, you can have a go at doing the same thing. And then finally, in the middle, we've got something a bit different. This has been done entirely destructively. There is no Boolean that has been used to create this. It has been done entirely to the mesh. Again, entirely using options native to Blender. So no booleaning has happened in this. It is entirely a destructive workflow. Now, one important rule about all of these is that the bevel for all of them, so this angle here, is 45 degrees. And that is true of both of these destructive methods and the non-destructive methods. So they're all exactly 45 degrees. So that is your Blender challenge. Not as complex as some of the ones that we've had previously, but using three different techniques to create the same result. As always, if you've come up with some solutions to this, please do not put them in the comment section. I look forward to seeing your comments on how you did this in the video on Friday, but don't ruin this for other people who might want to give this a go by telling them the answer. Good luck, guys, and I look forward to seeing you on Friday.